What's up friends? Welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new here. My name's Alex, my pronouns are he, him, and this is my channel Pucks and Paperbacks where I recommend you queer books. Today I'm recommending you books that are really good gifts. I have compiled a list of types of people and superlatives and we'll be recommending a book based off of that. So if you are looking for books to gift people, you're in the right place. But I have also made a bookish gift guide if you're looking for gifts to give book lovers this holiday season. It will be up above and you can go and watch it. So this video is strictly book related. So I will be recommending books based off of superlatives or types of people you may be shopping for. This video was actually requested when I asked you which videos you would like to see for the holiday season. If you enjoyed this video feel free to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe because I will be doing the 12 days of vlogmas starting on Monday where you will get a video from me from the 13th to the 24th. I also make a lot of book recommendation videos so that playlist will be linked down below if you're looking for more. I have a lot of books so let's get started. First is for the friend that reads once a year. We all have that friend who reads once a year and that is totally fine. I honestly wish I could be that person. I have two recommendations for this. First I have an anthology. This is Up All Night by Laura Silverman and all of the books I mentioned will be linked down below with an affiliate link so if you would like to help support this channel you can use my affiliate link and it is at no cost to you. I decided to pick an anthology for this because this will open this person up to new authors that they can check out and I think an anthology is just perfect for someone who doesn't read a lot because also they can just take their time with it. This one specifically is set during the night, hence up all night, and it has a lot of good stories in here. We have a superhero story, we have a scavenger hunt, there are so many fun elements of this book. So if you have a friend who only reads once a year I would highly recommend this anthology. I would also recommend They're There by Tommy Orange. This is a 12 character perspective and it is following native characters who are going to a big powwow. It is such a great book and it's quick and I think that this is good for somebody that doesn't read that often because it is a book that they can take their time with but it's also fun because you get to see all of these different characters and how they connect with each other. I think it's awesome and I recommend it. Next is for the parent of queer kids. I have two for this as well. First being a nonfiction that I actually recommended in my queer nonfiction book recs video and this is a quick and easy guide to queer and trans identities. I love this because it is very colorful but it does a really good job of just educating you on the queer community. It's really quick and informative and it is a book that I would buy for anyone who is looking to learn more and just be a better ally. For a fiction book I would also recommend Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. This is a YA contemporary following two sisters who do not know their sisters until there's a plane crash and their father dies and they meet through their father's death. The one sister is queer and we get to see her in a queer relationship and I really love this book and I would recommend it to a queer parent or a parent of queer kids. I just think it's good and it has subtle queer rep and I highly recommend it and I apologize because I'm going to be saying I highly recommend it for probably every book. Next for a nonfiction reader I have two books first being All Boys Are in Blue by George M. Johnson. This is following George who is a black non-binary person and they recall the events of their life especially childhood I love this so much. This is a really popular nonfiction book so if the nonfiction reader in your life has not read it yet, pick it up for them. I would also recommend From the Ashes by Jesse Thistle. This is following a Canadian indigenous man. It is his story of resilience and him learning more about his native heritage and I really loved this. It was awesome. Next is for preschoolers or any person in your life who reads picture books. First is one of my favorites, Small Night and the Anxiety Monster, written and illustrated by Manka Kasha. This is about a non-binary knight who doesn't want to be a princess and these feelings give them the anxiety monster. 
they aren't sure what to do with these feelings and are nervous to tell their parents and that is why the anxiety monster comes in and it is so sweet and I loved it so much. I would also recommend And the People Stayed Home by Katie O'Meara. This is about the pandemic and just about the people staying home. I really like this one and I would also recommend it. Next is for the comic reader and I am going to recommend a DC comic and this is The Oracle Code by Marike Nijkamp. This is about Barbara Gordon and her time in a rehabilitation center in Gotham when she becomes a wheelchair user due to a, an event that happens and so it is her trying to figure out her new disability and I really enjoy this. It was really good and I recommend it because I feel like the DC comic person in your life may not have read it yet. But if they don't like DC or Marvel, I would also recommend these two graphic novels, The Backstagers and The Avant-Garde. They both have queer rep. The Backstagers has some fantastical elements. It is about the backstage elements of theater and there are some stuff that goes down there. We also have The Avant-Garde, which is about a queer basketball team set at an art school. If they haven't picked these up yet, they're a great read. Next is for people in their 20s. You're always getting people in their 20s books because why not? First is Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed. This is following Amira, who is a 25-year-old black woman. She picks up a nannying job and is racially profiled in a grocery store in Philadelphia. I loved this this so much. Amira is out of college and just trying to make ends meet and I think anyone in their 20s will relate to this. I would also recommend the memoir Speak Okinawa by Elizabeth Miki Brina. This is a powerful memoir about identity. The author just recalls events of her childhood and life just resenting her mother for her identity. She was born to an Akinanwan mother and a white father. It is her questioning why she feels so disconnected from her ancestry and identity and it was such a powerful read so I would recommend it to anyone in their 20s because it does have a message of struggling with your identity and coming to terms with it. And I think a lot of people in their 20s go through that process and it is a relatable book in that sense, but also a really powerful memoir. Next, for any teens in your life, I have a couple books. I could recommend so many, but I do have a lot of young adult recommendations on this channel if you are looking for more. Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas. This is a paranormal book following a trans boy, Yadriel, and he wants to prove to his family that he is a brujo. When he performs a ritual to try and find his deceased cousin, Miguel, he ends up summoning the ghost of the school bad boy, Julian Diaz, and if the teen in your life has not read this yet, you have to buy it for them. It is so funny. It is so great and I love it so much. It has great representation. The author is Latinx and he is also non-binary and this was just awesome and I love it. I would also recommend the Pocket Change Collective because it is short little books about topics. So I have here Imaginary Borders, which is all about climate change and how the climate crisis affects marginalized groups. But there are so many great books in this series. If I were to recommend a singular one, I would say this one, but I do recommend more in my other videos. I would also recommend You Asked for Perfect by Laura Silverman. This is following a boy named Ariel in his senior year of high school. He has a lot of things going on in his life. He is expected to be valedictorian and I just think any teen can relate to this because he deals with a lot of academic pressure. It also has bisexual and Jewish rep. For a middle schooler, I would recommend Stand Up Yumi Chung by Jessica Kim. This is about a girl named Yumi who wants to be a comedian but she is dealing with the pressures from her parents of just doing good in school and it's really great. I also have a kind of spark by Elle McNichol. This is following an autistic girl who learns about the witch trials in her town and she wants to have a memorial for them. She deals with a lot of ableism but I think that any kid would really enjoy this and get a lot out of it. I'm a sports guy and I have a whole video of sports book recommendations, but I will recommend two here. First is the memoir 
by Max Domi, No Days Off, and this is about him getting into the NHL and him living with type 1 diabetes. I loved this so much and I recommend it. I also have a favorite graphic novel which is Dragon Hoops by Jean Luen Yang. It is all about a high school basketball team and it's awesome. Next, for the Disney adults or Disney lovers in your life, I would recommend the Geekerella series. They are retellings of popular fairy tales or just Disney movies that we all know. This is Cinderella and they are just all geek inspired and they're awesome. I would also recommend the novella Peter Darling by S.A. Chant. This is following Peter who is transgender. So this is if Peter Pan was trans and it is him going to Neverland and we have a romance between him and Captain Hook and it is awesome. I'm also a cat lover so I had to include cat lovers on this list and I have a graphic novel, Cat vs. Human. I love this so much because any cat lover can relate to it. And finally for the music lovers in your life, I have Shuffle Repeat which is a book I don't talk about a lot and it is really fun. It's a YA contemporary. This is about June and Oliver. They're seniors in high school. They carpool to school together because June does not have her license and so her mother forces them to carpool to school together and they fight about everything. But when it comes to music, they have a deal where if they can provide sufficient evidence that high school doesn't matter, they can add a song to the playlist. It is such a fun contemporary and I don't talk about it often, but I would recommend it to someone that just likes to read white contemporaries and likes music. But even if not, I think it's a really good contemporary anyway. To my viewers that are probably sick of hearing these books, I have On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. It is becoming a film and this is about a girl named Brie. Her rap song goes viral and it's all about the music industry. We also have my very favorite book, The Beauty That Remains by Ashley Woodfolk. This is a three character perspective following three teens who have all lost someone close to them and the only thing that connects them together is this band. So those were all of my book recommendations for certain people you may be shopping for. I hope you enjoyed it and let me know if you are any of these people and are going to pick up these books. I would really love to know. Like I said at the beginning, I have a bookish gift guide as well. So so that will be at my end screen if you would like to check it out. I had a lot of fun making this video so if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a like and hit subscribe because I am doing the 12 days of vlogmas so I will see you on Monday. Bye!